when it comes to implantation in the hairline there are few crucial technical things that have to be kept in mind the anterior most part or the front most part of the hairline is known as the transition zone uh, it is also known as the feathering zone where only single hair follicle grafts are implanted we use very fine caliber implanters like 0.8 mm or 0.9 mm to implant on those areas which makes it look extremely natural behind that we use multiples it could be two hair follicle it could be three hair follicle and that is known as the defined zone and that is what gives definition and volume to the hairline at dhi because we segregate the grafts based on the number of hair follicles they have it is very easy and convenient for us to implant them and we know which graft is followed exactly where the angle and direction is of course very important in the hairline the hair has to be implanted at an angle of 5 degrees to 10 degrees and at most 15 degrees when it comes to the temporal hairline they have to be implanted at even less than 5 degrees transplant is of course a very personal thing which is why every single individual who comes to dhi the needs and the desires are catered to on a personalized level different people will get hair transplant done for different reasons they will have their own concepts and desires when it comes to recreating the hairline maybe they will want it in a certain way maybe they want it in a certain design so because at dhi the medical personnel that we have all have wealth of knowledge and decades of experience they catered to each and every individual in a very personalized and professional way and even during the procedure the surgeon meets everyone discusses the hairline beforehand and even during the process of implantation before the final hairline is done the hairline is shown and explained to the patient and only once he gives the go ahead and he's fully satisfied do we give the finishing touches when we were, we are designing hairline in a male we have to keep a few things in mind one of course is that we have to follow the m pattern the m pattern is what differentiates male hairline from a female hairline which is basically something like this it looks like an m whenever you are looking at the person from the side there has to be a slight elevation from the center up to the frontal temporal angle if it is very flat or if it is going downwards sloping downwards then again it gives an artificial look and it resembles more like a female hairline when we talk about the human scalp it has two components one is of course the horizontal component another is the vertical component ideally whenever you are recreating a hairline if it is right in the intersection of the vertical and the horizontal aspect that gives it a much natural look